Hey everyone, this is Aditi and welcome to Adelicious. Just in time for Halloween, I bring to you these adorably spooky jack-o'-lantern cheesecake shots. They are so simple to make. I'm sure they'll be a hit. As usual, the quantities and the ingredients would be listed down below in the description box. To start off, let's get a little crafty. Here I'm using some clear disposable cups for my cheese shots today and using a permanent marker, I'm going to draw some jack-o'-lantern faces. Something like this. or like this you can draw any face you want any kind of kind of design you want it's up to you completely so prepare as many as you want moving on to the actual recipe here i have some crushed up oreos which i've crushed in a food processor but you can even use a plastic bag and a rolling pin to the crushed oreo add some melted butter mix it through the consistency should be that if you hold the mixture between your palms it should hold its shape and not fall apart now take 2 teaspoons of the mixture and put it into your plastic cups and using the back of anything flat like i'm using a wire whisk here press it firmly in place so that it's nicely secured repeat this for all the cups moving on to the cheesecake part here are all the ingredients you need for the cheesecake bit starting off by whipping some heavy cream to soft peaks Make sure the cream is minimum 35 to 40% butter fat because that will help cheesecake to set. This is what is called soft peaks. Don't overbeat the cream. Next, taking some room temperature cream cheese in a bowl, add in the sifted icing sugar and a dash of vanilla extract and using the same beater mix it till everything is nicely smooth and there are no lumps. Once the cream cheese mixture is velvety smooth, it's time to add in the whipped cream. Add the whipped cream in two additions. Take half of the whipped cream and fold it using a spatula. Now add the remaining whipped cream and fold it in till it's nicely mixed. Now to give the cheesecake the signature jack-o'-lantern color, I'm adding some orange color by Wilton. Add as much color as you need till it turns a bright orange, something like this. and then fill in the cheesecake mixture into a piping bag at the tip of the piping bag and keeping the bag vertical pipe the cheesecake mixture into the prepared cups creating a slight dome on the top to make it look like the pumpkin the oreo layer at the bottom gives the illusion as if the pumpkin is sitting on some dirt which looks really cute once all the cups are filled keep it in the fridge for 4 to 6 hours or overnight till it sets completely Once the cheesecake shots are nicely set and out of the fridge, now it's time to add some finishing touches. For that, I'm using some pocky sticks, which are nothing but wafer sticks covered with chocolate, and I'm using some heavy whipping cream colored green put in a piping bag with coupler, so that I can use two piping sticks. This is one lie leaf tip and a round tip nozzle. Break the pocky stick to fit into our glasses, so that we have about three four inches poking out. This looks like the stem of the pumpkin. and then using a piping bag and the leaf tip nozzle add some leaves around the stick like this wiggle the i pi piping bag to create this pattern and then changing up the tip and using the round tip to make the winds around the pumpkin just swirl the bag to create this loopy pattern Once done your cheesecake shots are ready to steal the show at any halloween party these look so adorable let me show you what it looks inside it's nice and set and it's trust me it's delicious i hope you give this one a try and if you do don't forget to share a picture on my social media the links would be listed down below don't forget to like share and comment on this video and hit that subscribe button right away see you again bye bye